Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a custom library folder for Rhino. So right now I have a library open over here on the right and it allows me to just drag and drop items into the scene. And perhaps you would like to be able to do that but you don't have a library folder. And this is actually just the same as coming over here to file and clicking on uh, import and then navigating to you know a folder and then selecting a file it's, it's the same thing it's just a, a little bit faster and more convenient way to do that so the first thing that you want to do is come down to your file explorer and then uh, go to wherever you would like to add your library folder so you're just going to create a folder in here and I usually put mine on the D drive but you can put it wherever it makes the most sense to you and so just click on new folder and uh, call it whatever you would like to call it so I'm going to call it uh, my cool rhino library okay but uh, you call it whatever makes the most sense uh, to you and then you can close out your file explorer window now over here you've got a bunch of tabs you're usually probably on the layers tab but over here there's the libraries tab which has a little folder for an icon so just click on that click on this little menu right here and then click on settings all right and you'll get a pop-up this is the Rhino Options dialog box. It's preset to libraries because we came uh, to this options window through uh, this menu over here. And you just need to click on this button right here called New. Just click that and then click on these three little dots and then navigate to the folder that you just made. So I usually put these things on my D drive so we'll just navigate to that. It was called my cool rhino library right okay you're kind of in a text box situation here editing as so you could actually type in here just click off of that and then click OK all right so now we can come back over here click and you see that my cool rhino library has been added to our list of library folders so just click on that and now you can access anything that's in that folder so I'm just going to go back out here and I'll add a gem into the scene and then I will save this I'll save it into that new folder that we just made okay we'll go back here and come to my cool rhino library and you can see now and don't worry about this. this. This is some kind of placeholder that Rhino puts there because we have that file open. We have this file open because I just saved it there. I'm just going to, just to show you that, I'm going to go ahead and click on New. And you can see that that strange thing has gone away. So now what we have is uh, this file that I just saved into our library. And, and again, that is my cool Rhino library. And I'm just going to drag and drop that over here and click okay you have to choose that option so open file insert file import attach I usually use import okay uh, so I just drag and drop that into my scene and now see anything that you save to this uh, folder here is something you can drag and drop into the scene if it's something that Rhino can work with right you can put subfolders in it too so uh, you can either do that through your file explorer and you might be able to do it here right click in here let's see yeah new so you can just create a new folder in here um, the thing I don't like about doing it in here is it does this where it's, it's kind of like uh, so I'll just say uh, you know gems or something like that right um, it, it, it just puts it wherever you clicked your mouse and I don't think it really organizes it very well we might be able to auto arrange let's try that okay so you can try that but um, you, if you can also create it in your file explorer and we'll just create a uh, subfolder in here uh, I'll call it sub library well I'll call it gems all right so maybe you have a bunch of things maybe you've got materials and gems and scripts or you know just uh, and I'll put that folder in there okay so now you can see this automatically updated and it automatically arranges it uh, better for you if you do it through the file explorer and if I double click on that folder now I've got my gem file is in there so so you can make subfolders whatever you whatever you want to put in there you can put in there 
uh, for easy access. All right. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see all of you in future videos.